Top diplomats of the African Union member states met two days for the 42nd ordinary session of the Executive Council of the Union. Speaking in the AU headquarters, Musa Faki Mahamad pointed to progress achieved when evaluating the first decade of the AU's development agenda 2063. He acknowledged remaining challenges. To meet the needs of the African people, the AU has been looking for long-term solutions by establishing institutions and increasing the production capacity of food and medicine industries. The construction of the African Centre for Disease Control headquarters is almost completed. The African Medicines Agency host country has been selected and its establishment progresses steadily. Implementing the continental trade zone was another key issue. 44 member states officially deposited the instrument of ratification. Ten member states have not yet ratified the agreement and we should not leave them behind. I appeal to them to do so soon. Second, it will soon be four years since the African Continental Free Trade Agreement came into force. Regrettably, these four years also presented Africa with multiple shocks. Only through an accelerated and effective implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement can Africa build sufficient shock absorbers to build resilience. The meeting, which kicked off Wednesday, was being held under the AU's theme of the year, acceleration of the African continental free trade area implementation.